Hi everyone and welcome back to Brain Story Shelf. Today I'll be showing you how to make a little lantern for this Coraline figure or for any of your dolls. So uh, stick around. First thing we're going to do is uh, to measure and cut a two by uh, five centimeters rectangle. After cutting the little rectangle, we're going to measure and bend uh, every um, 0 0.5 centimeters. So we're going to do it like so. I'm going to show you. So first, we're going to measure every 0 0.5 centimeters, and then we're going to bend them with the help of our ruler so for example this one right here we're going to uh, bend it so I'm going to take this side right here and we're going to place it on one of the little lines that we just made let me zoom in a little bit so you can check that out a little bit closer so there we have the little line and we're going to put the ruler right there and we're going to bend it so now that we bend this little piece we're going to do the same with all the other uh, marks that we are going to make until we uh, bend all the little rectangle doing this uh, is kind of tricky so uh, yeah you uh, you have to take your time so yeah I'm just warning you and also the last one uh, we already did all the other ones from this side so now the for the last little piece we're going to put it on the edge of the ruler and we're going to line it with the little markings we're going to press really really hard and again bend it now that we we have um, bent all the little lines, we're going to take this part right here and this one, the edges, and we're going to uh, put them one uh, against the other. And we're going to take a little piece of uh, clear tape to secure it in place. So uh, this is how it looks right now. As you can see, I already taped it so it. Uh, keeps the shape you want um, and now we're going to take the um, paperboard to make the top and bottom now we are going to trace uh, around our little figure on the paperboard so that we have a shape like so and then we're going to round it a little bit and after doing that we're going to cut it and use it as a pattern we're going to make this one and seven more so we can put four here on the top and here on the bottom another a row of four um, circles as I told you after doing uh, eight of these little circles we're going to stack four for the top and four for the bottom now that we have the top and the bottom of the lantern we're going to uh, take the rest of the paperboard and we're going to cut really um, thin lines three to four millimeters um, to uh, put uh, around the edge of the lantern so that it looks a little bit nicer and we're going to make the those strips are uh, like really long so that we can like um, like wrap them around the lantern now that I have the little strip I did it uh, three millimeters um, wide and uh, as you can see I did it really long so I'm going to use the lantern as a mold so first I'm going to um, wrap it around and we're going to add uh, a little drop of glue to uh, have the shape of the actual lantern so now that we have the little drop we're going to glue it 
uh, and then we're going to stop wrapping around and uh, as you can see I added uh, the rest of the glue I'm going to wrap it around the lantern then I'm going to take it out and as you can see we already have the uh, actual shape of the lantern so this is how it is looking so far as you can see I already uh, glued all the uh, strip around itself and um, now that I have this I'm going to take uh, this piece of uh, the um, paperboard and I'm going to glue it down and uh, I'm going to let it dry and uh, finally cut around it so this is how it is looking so far so as I told you, I just cut it around and uh, um, we're going to try it on the little lantern. And this is how it looks. It is looking really, really cool as of now. So now I'm going to do the same thing with this one. So this is how it is looking so far. So we're going to take one of the, um, actually both of the little, uh, like the four pieces that we glued together. And we're going to uh, glue them here on the on the top and here on the bottom. Okay, so uh, I decided no to not to glue these things down because um, they look. Uh, I don't know. I I actually don't like the way they look. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to save them for another craft or something. So um, what we have to do now is to uh, decor the, the inside of the of the lantern because. Uh, it is supposed to be like shiny or yeah something like that so uh, I just took the the caps off uh, uh, I just use a little bit of tape to secure it in place so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the tape and I'm going to uh, decor the inside so to decor this little uh, piece on the inside uh, <clears throat> we're going to use um, a marker and we're going to um, just color it on the inside so after we have it all colored on the inside we're going to take um, some uh, school glue and make sure this uh, when it dries it uh, must be clear so yeah that's really important so we're going to Oh, <laughs> yeah, as you can see, it is kind of difficult to uh, keep it on its shape, but I'm going to put it like this, and we're going to <clears throat> move it around a little bit so it gets, gets all blended. Yeah, so that's how it looks. We're going to uh, add some glitter, but that's just optional. If you want to, you can add some... A green or maybe uh, even kind of white or uh, like silver glitter so as you can see I added some green and some like um, really uh, cool looking glitter it is kind of like white but there you can see how it looks it is really pretty and uh, yeah I'm going to uh, let this uh, meanwhile we're going to paint this uh, any color you want I'm going to paint them silver and uh, yeah then we're going to make the handle so uh, this little thing already uh, has already dried and uh, while we're waiting for the top and bottom uh, to dry we're going to make uh, little holes with a needle and be very careful when you're uh, working with this kind of sharp objects so um, we're going to um, make a hole on each side of the little lantern maybe something like over here so that we can uh, put the handle so to make the holes it uh, is way easier if you um, take a little piece of foam board as I have right here and uh, we're going to uh, extend the lantern piece zoom in a little bit and we're going to check where uh, the holes are supposed to go so here is one and we're going to put it right here and then we're going to poke it 
it is really easy because of the foam board you're not going to get hurt or anything so there's the first one and now we have to do the second one so the other one is over here I'm going to again poke it to make sure to poke in poke the holes on the same uh, length from the edge of the lantern so maybe over here so we're going to poke it again and then we have the holes now we're going to take um, a clip and we're going to unfold it then we're going to give it a shape uh, just it doesn't matter the shape it has because uh, you know the Coraline universe is all like uh, yeah it is really funny looking so um, yeah you just uh, try to make a little curve or something and well first we're going to make it even here so let me and be very careful while doing that I'm going to do it with bigger scissors because it's kind of difficult so it's really hard but there we go and um, we're going to take the same scissors and we're going to give them a turn around the wire and then we're going to easily take off the little rubber that is protecting the wire and we're going to do that on both sides so it is really simple you just twist it and just pull with the scissors let's do it a little bit there we go so here we have the two sides now we're going to fold this uh, this way maybe with some uh, with some clippers or something we're going to fold them uh, to the inside and then we're going to put them into the little uh, lamp so this is how it is looking so far as I told you I just uh, put the wire in and the, I uh, just uh, fold it uh, to hold it in place and yeah that's how it looks uh, try not to mess too much uh, with this lantern part so that the uh, glitter does not come off or anything like that so now that we have the handle we can um, go ahead and put um, the little uh, top and bottom on and I actually as you can see I painted it uh, silver and on the inside I just used the same marker to paint them green so that uh, they have a nicer uh, look so uh, yeah uh, we are going to glue it up on and uh, I'll show you how it looks okay everyone so here is the final result so uh, as you can see the handle I decided to uh, remove the coating uh, on both of the sides of the wire I just left uh, the top of it to like mark where the handle goes and uh, yeah I just glued the top and the bottom and um, yeah I think that's it <laughs> I think it, uh, it turned out pretty cool and uh, I have my uh, Coraline figure right here so um, as she has one of her hands gripped I'm going to put it on her to see how it looks so that we can Come on, hold it, Coraline, hold it. Um, so yeah, I think this craft turned out really, really cool. So there you can see how she looks. Let me zoom out a little bit. Well, that was it for this uh, craft video. I really liked the way the lantern tuned out. And as you can see, it is the perfect size for Coraline. Um, but of course, if you want to make... Um, a lantern for uh, some other um, size dolls uh, you just have to make the measurements a little bit bigger it's not that uh, difficult so um, yeah that was it for this video 
and um, um, yeah uh, if you liked this video please uh, give it a thumbs up yeah I just uh, updated my so yeah give it a thumbs up also don't forget to uh, tell me in the comments down below if you liked it also don't forget to share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel and finally uh, follow me on Instagram the link to that will be in the description box below and um, yeah also don't forget to uh, um, click on the little bell icon uh, by the subscribe button so you uh, will be notified uh, every time I upload a video and um, yeah I want you to tell me if you like this kind of videos and I'll try to make more so yeah that was it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye